Voxel. Hello Voxel fans. A lot of people have been asking about the import and export options for VoxEdit. How can you get the models you've built into VoxEdit? And once you've finished inside VoxEdit, where can you use the creations? We'll explore each of the formats that VoxEdit supports and give some examples of the other programs you can use with VoxEdit. This video is sponsored by the Sandbox Creator Fund. VoxEdit is the editor built specifically for creating assets in the Sandbox, but it's also a totally free voxel editor and the first editor dedicated completely to voxel art that allows for bone-rigged animation. Designed to be accessible and easy to learn, VoxEdit is making it easier for voxel artists to learn animation and make amazing assets to play with in the Sandbox later this year. To learn more about the Sandbox and the Creator Fund, visit sandbox.game or check out the link in the description. Just a quick reminder that VoxEdit is still very much in alpha. Not all features will work correctly 100% of the time, and if you're trying to use it as a tool to make professional work, you will want to save frequently and back up your files should something go wrong. I'm using version 0.12.0 in this video, and some features are not implemented yet. I'll make an update video when available features change. To do any importing in VoxEdit, you have to start in the rigging mode. This will let you access the library panel, which contains the import menu. It's best to have a separate folder for every rig you make, unless you want to share objects between rigs, otherwise your library will become cluttered with assets you aren't using. There are three import options in the library menu, which are for VXM, Vox, and OBJ. VXM is the native format for VoxEdit models, so you can use this to copy assets to your rig folder from other locations on your computer. Should you delete a model from your library, you can bring it back with the Restore Assets button, which will search for VXM files that have a VXB extension added to the end. Deleting a model from your library does not permanently remove the file from your folder, it's only hidden from the library. Import Vox allows you to load a file based on the VoxLab engine. You can check out the website of VoxLab's creator in the description. I was able to successfully load Vox files into VoxEdit that were created in Magicka Voxel, Goxel, Particubes, and cubicle. However, there are a couple issues you may encounter. Since update 0.99 in late 2017, Magicka Voxel gained a world editor that lets you create multiple objects in a larger world space. This format confuses VoxEdit's modeler, so you have to export the objects into separate voxel files with the export menu. This creates a single vox file for each unique object. These can be loaded into VoxEdit all at once by selecting multiple files when importing. Cubicle users will encounter crashes when trying to load an exported Vox file. However, the fix for this is simply opening the file in Magicka Voxel, pressing save, and then VoxEdit will accept the file without crashing. Unfortunately, Cubicle hasn't been updated to work with Magicka Voxel's world system. So if you have multiple objects in Cubicle, they will all be crushed into a single object in the Vox file. The way around this is to select a single object and export each, one at a time. I haven't found a way around this yet, but there is a way to export cubicle files as separate objects. So if VoxEdit adds QB support, it should be the same as importing multiple Vox files. The last import option, to voxelize OBJs, is not implemented yet. For now, Magicka Voxel and Cubicle do have this feature which will let you load OBJ mesh files which convert into voxels automatically. In Magicka Voxel, you can set the max size of the object with the volume size, then drag the OBJ file into it. But all color data is lost, and you have to split objects in a mesh editor if you want models bigger than 126 voxels. Cubicles has more features like texture mapping and scale control, but is an additional purchase if you have the Steam version. Once our models are automatically converted to VXM files in the library, we can edit them with the pencil tool. From the file menu in the modeler mode is an export menu. VTX tile map, block, and marketplace are all upcoming features which either do not work at all or are not documented enough to use yet. Once the marketplace and the sandbox launch, I'll make a new video teaching you how to use them. The three options we can use now are OBJ, DAE, and GLTF. OBJ is one of the most common file types, and has been around since the 80s. It's supported by almost every 3D editor that's been made for the past 30 years, 
including Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, Photoshop, Microsoft Paint 3D, AutoCAD, Poser, Animator, Cinema 4D, and pretty much any other editor. DAE and GLTF are both relatively newer formats, but are supported by most modern software. DAE is an interchange format designed to support a lot of features in newer programs so it can go back and forth between different editors, while GLTF is more of a finished format designed for quick and efficient streaming in games and on web platforms. However, coming from VoxEdit, all three of these formats will be roughly the same and could be used pretty much interchangeably. The choice of all three allows you the widest possible options when choosing an editor or game engine to import your voxel models. Some of the game editors that support these formats are Unity, Unreal, Godot, and GameMaker, as well as web platforms like Sketchfab. However, some of these endpoints might need extra plugins to import the format, or require some cleanup in a 3D graphics program first. VoxEdit also exports the colors of voxels in low-res UV textures, where one pixel equals one voxel. This often looks blurry in 3D editors and game engines, because they are trying to smooth the texture automatically. Some engines like Unity have specific texture filtering modes to fix this. I've linked a couple solutions in the description, but every program solution will vary, so Google Search and Stack Exchange are your friends. Once you've created a rig and animation, you have to select the animation you want to export. You can't export all of your animations at once. The only options for exporting a rig are DAE and GLTF, since OBJ is only for meshes and cannot have bone rigs or animations. I hope this answers your basic questions on what VoxEdit can do with different 3D formats. I'm sure there are plenty of very specific questions which I can try to answer in the comments, but I may not have ever used the 3D graphics program or game engine you are asking about, so please be patient with me. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, and smash that subscribe button and ring the bell if you haven't already to get notifications when I post more info about VoxEdit or any other Voxel editor. Thank you for watching.